For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that the next container technology, uh, the container technology in that this next command is that uh, builder, the utility builder using builder we can build push and uh, signing the containers we can do using the builder so how we can build a container and how we can push that or how we can save the container as a tar file then we can import that same container to the other machines let's see that so about builder so the builder package provides a command line tool that can be used create a working container either from scratch or using an images as a starting point so what we can do is that creating a working container so we can create a working container from builder either from scratch so we can also do the build the container from the scratch uh, using an image as starting point so whether we can use the other image and build the scratching container from there create an a image either from a working container or via the instructions in docker file so we can also create the container using the docker file so that process also we see in this process so like how we can create the docker file and create the container using the builder images can build can be built in either the oca the open source uh, container technology okay image format are the traditional upstream docker image format so you if you want to create a name upstream docker image format container so you can also do that from the builder mount your working containers root file system for manipulation example if it is there is already working container you already exist then you can mount that working container root file system then you can modify that container and import that container and save that container as well use the updated contents of containers root file system as a file system layer to create a new image delete a working container or an image rename a local container so this is what we can do using the builder okay let's see how we can build a container image by using the uh, any of the operating system version example you had took here is that CentOS and build images then you can see that build the images so the downloaded image you can see over there and build the containers then you can see the working container which is currently exit then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to install the application called hello in that container and we are going to export that container and save that container as a tar file then delete the existing image and import that uh, tar file again as a container so how we can do that so these are all the uh, commands here what is the process of that commands we are going to uh, use on this session so these are the commands here so, okay let's jump into the practical and see how we can build this images okay let's see here is my um, linux server I have just logged into the Linux server and now what we are going to do is that we are going to build a image using this CentOS from CentOS we just import one of the image and build with the application so build up now from CentOS okay we can see now the CentOS has been resolved I need to copy that required content build up images now you can see there are two images current one which is we just downloaded the image now let's see build the containers there is a one container which is currently having centos working container what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to install the application on this container then import that container so that's what we are going to do it here so i'm just going to download this uh, hello application so here is the hello application let me remove this hello application and download it again back 
I can see so the allow two dot zero is available here that I'm just going to copy this hello application to the container what is the command now build a copy your container name what is the container name is this is the container name here and now copy this hello hello dot teacher file I'm just copying to the temp location I can see the image has been copied now we what we have to do now we just copy the hello application but the hello application required some packages to compile that application so we have to install that application so there to do that build and run so the container name here and uh, run the installer commands so m install iphone y tar gcc make these are the uh, utilities required for compiling that hello application so if you are doing this with the rhcl container then you might need to subscribe that rhcl container with the rhcl then only you can run this otherwise you will get some um, m repository error now you can see the package is installed on that container let's clean this m uh, otherwise in the image size would become more so m build a run and we need to working container the working container is centos working container now run m clean all so now you can see 20 file, 21 files has been removed so the image size will get decreased otherwise the m cache will be on that machine so that the m cache will be also come as a some size now run this um, extracting that application tar file build a run so now our working container the container name here tar xvzf so that is a zip file temp now what we have to do so we have to provide that uh, tar file name zz and i am just uh, compiling that output to the slash opt location i can see the hello application has been extracted on that container now let's build that so let's set some working directory on that container build a config iphone iphone working directory slash opt hello so the directory name is here you can just copy this one here and paste it here and the container name centos working this is what we are doing is that we are setting some working container the working path for that uh, container here then what we do is that we just uh, compile that package and install that package on over there so to do that build a run centos working container that is our uh, container name then dot slash configure so this is the way we have to compile that uh, package and after that install that make make install now we just make uh, run that uh, make command again so here instead of configure run it as a make make has been completed run make install make is completed make install is completed so the application is installation completed and let's see whether the application is working fine or not so here i am just going to test that hello command hello application with hello iphone v which will provide the hello application whatever the version we installed and that so that is the 2.10 version you can see that 
hello application has been installed so now what we have to do is that we have to set the entry point and and save that as a docker image and import that image okay let's see how we can do that build a now config iphone iphone entry point slash user local bin hello so this is the application path hello path and i'm setting that as an entry point for this container i can see some warning that oh, you can ignore that warning as well and now again run that uh, build up commit commit the changes otherwise it goes in nothing so we have to commit that in a docker format let's see working container here and uh, i say that my first build will be my first build would be latest so that is the name i am just giving to that container as a image name so that it will import to that my fast build to latest on the local server you can see now so that image has been imported now if you go to the build up images you can see there is a latest image you can see that the local host and my fast build has been completed and you can see it was 20 second 21 seconds ago was committed so this is the images now what we have to do is that we have to import that as a tag file and delete all the images and containers and rerun that import of that tar file how we can import that one portman and save that output of that file let's say my fast build dot tar file and provide that repository name so this is the repository name here and enter now image has been saved you can just ls here you can see my past build dot tag has been completed let's delete all the images okay first run build the images here and you can see there are images right now i just wanted to delete all the images here portman rmi and deleting the images so this is the image name I just say if an F and again going back and deleting this image and again I am deleting the one more image left all the images are deleted build the images now you can see there is no image now let's load that image whatever we built using the portman load iphone i and provide this path my first build dot top i can see my image is loading let's run that build the images you can see my first build is loaded so that's how we can uh, download the images and run this uh, container and uh, install the application and import it to the tar file so that's about this builder